where relevant information is projected onto the pilot's field of view. This type is far too cumbersome for anything but military use, and even then there are doubts. But a miniature system could help pilots save lives when hovering in limited spaces. At Bell, electronics research engineer, Hugh Upton. The idea for the display came from a personal project that I have. I have a severe uh, hearing loss, and I've been working on what I call a visual speech reader for the deaf. Uh, the idea was to build a system that the deaf person could, could wear. Any, uh, it involves a, a miniature optical system which uses this collimating lens, this little speck that you see in, in uh, my glasses. I have a microphone on my tie clip and a computer analyzer which extracts certain features from speech, uh, such as uh, high-frequency syllables, which are shown as a red sound, black vowels, uh, which are shown in green, or when you say that to me. And the, the heart of the concept is the fact that these uh, flashing lights are actually viewed on your lips so that when I see you talk and try to read your lips, I see the pattern superimposed on the lips. So the thought was, uh, why not use the same technique to make a heads-up display for pilots, which is actually built into his eyeglasses, so that wherever he looks, he'll be able to see the information, even if he's doing a hoist mission, so that uh, he needs to look down at, at the hoist operator. With this system we're working on, he will be able to see the information superimposed on the ground, or if he's looking forward, he'll be able to see it superimposed in the sky. Now, we have achieved that by using a light-emitting diode array, which has 128 diodes. And we attach a fiber optics ribbon that has one optic fiber for each diode. Through an electromechanical exciter, we vibrate the, the ribbon so that when we key on the light emitting diodes in synchronism with that vibration, we actually see a raster. The raster, or scan, will be invisible. But if an LED is switched on at a certain point, it will flash. If the LEDs are switched on at coordinated points in the scan, they line up. With the scan vibrating at the speed of Upton's prototype, the LEDs will merge to appear as a line. Remember, the scanning fibers would be invisible. The computer coordinating vibration and switching will scan these LED lines into any position and eventually reproduce the essential symbols for flight information. When the tiny raster is aimed through the miniature optical system on the pilot's glasses, he will see this information wherever he looks.